This is Twit. All right, I'm re I'm ready to talk about quantum computing. And in fact, for you, okay. for a long time, I've been wanting to ask you how I see. I look at this, and I it, to me, it looks like Google and everybody. It's just a way to get money from the feds. Like they aren't really. Are, are we close? No, no. Okay, so this one made me shake my head. Okay, uh, the headline was White House wants nation to prepare for a cryptography breaking quantum computers. Okay, to give everyone a sense for this, the reporting on the, uh, the the reporting on this, which appeared in the record, started out saying a memorandum issued Wednesday by President Joe Biden orders federal agencies to ramp up preparations for the day when quantum computers are capable of breaking the public key cryptography currently used to secure digital systems around the world. The document, National Security Memorandum 10, so of course we have to have initials, right, NSM 10, calls for a whole of government and whole of society strategy. Oh, let me get right on that. Whoa. Yeah. Huh? For, for quantum information science, that's QIS, including the security enhancements provided by quantum resistant cryptography. Uh-huh. So, well, no, what, I'm, what, I, that's one reason I switched from RSA to, uh, what is it, ESCD 50,000, whatever it is, the, 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 crypto, the elliptic curve. I don't know what I'm doing, but I, that's, <laughs> that's why I changed my SSH keys, right? Is right. That, well, is, so, is that more quantum resistant? I, I, I was looking at this and I was thinking, okay, why don't we just cure cancer? <laughs> I, thought, I thought, oh, 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 yeah. oh wait, that's what Biden was going to do oh, we while he was Bar oh, yeah, Barack's VP. We were going to take that, you know, do that. I know how'd that work out? <laughs> but seriously, okay, ED, I did or, ED twenty five five nineteen. Right, that's the okay. keys I should use. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, he, so he's ordering the federal government to ramp up preparations for a day when quantum computers are capable of breaking public key cryptography, which, by the way, doesn't yet exist. Right. The, the federal government... And we don't know when it will exist, right? No. It's like, no. It's like the, fusion energy. Someday. Uh, well, I have a, actually, that's in the notes, Leo. Yes, the federal government is apparently unable to update its own software when being handed <laughs> patches to do so. Yeah, that might be more important. Someone somewhere <laughs> says, eh, not today. Uh, we haven't yet secured our computers for technology we already have against attackers we already have. So, I don't know. How about having the White House use a memorandum ordering the various yes. agencies of the federal government to please just reboot their computers? <laughs> Even that would be a, a step how, forward. How would that be? <laughs> you know, we would actually get more security right now today <laughs> if we did that. And and, and as to, your, to your point, yes, sure. Quantum computing technology shows promise. But let's remember that it's been showing promise for quite some time. We've had nascent quantum computing technology since around the late 1970s, so for more than four decades. It's intriguing and interesting, and it's been moving forward gradually, you know, like most really big problems do, and like fusion power, exactly like that. And the federal government should absolutely be funding ongoing research in universities to allow our nation's brightest young minds to continue pushing this frontier forward. There's clearly something tantalizingly possible there. And I agree that we should not forget that we have adversaries. As we know, China is also working hard on this problem. So, Leo, if we patch and reboot our computers, we might be able to keep them from stealing it once we figure it out. <laughs> wow. But yes, wow. um, it, 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 it absolutely is the case that 
at some point in the future, I, I think right now the most I saw was four qubits uh, we were able to deal with. I, I kind of have a, fa a, a hazy sense that I saw something about more. But I mean, it is it doesn't scale linearly. You like if you get four, you can't simply say, "Oh, let's use 128 of those to get 512." No, you, they can't do that. So we are so far away from like this actually being a threat so i just i just scratch my head it's like joe biden is like issuing a memorandum telling us to scale up our preparedness <laughs> when we cannot reboot our servers it's not a bad idea by itself but it's not maybe the first thing we should do there is yeah. uh, ibm says they've got 127 qubit device ah, that may that may be what it was that i remember <clears throat> yeah yeah yes. ibm's selling these now you can <clears throat> One a dollar sixty per runtime second on their twenty seven qubit Falcon R five processor. I you know I mean so maybe 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 yeah. it's happening. I don't know. I don't know what you could do with twenty seven qubits. Can you? Uh, no. Uh, basically, you can <clears throat> you, you can you can absolutely simultaneously solve a a a symmetric crypto that uses a hundred uh, a that that uses a um, an eight bit key, I think, is what it what it comes okay. down to. So, so we got to get to more than a thousand qubits before, yes, we're in, we we're in get trouble. Way, and, and, and am I right yeah, you, saying that if I did ED twenty five nineteen that the yes the 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 the, the technologies which do so 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 the concern is that the one thing which has been protecting us the, the RSA crypto is that we don't know how to factor big numbers right so the 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 concern is a quantum computer could be could theoretically kill the factorization barrier right it i mean that was the trap door you can that you can only go through one way and and the, the worry is that a quantum computer could just go oh you want to factor that here I mean, like, like it doesn't even take any time. Just say, here, here, you know, here's the factors. It's like, yeah, yeah. So, so we, so we're wanting to get away from a crypto that is based on the the, the multiplication of two primes that you're then unable to factor. Well, elliptic curve crypto is that. Okay. So okay. you get enough bits of elliptic curve crypto, and we're not worrying about factorization any longer. I think I'm doing 512. No, 500. Yeah, it's weird. It's 521 bits for some reason i don't know what, <laughs> why, i don't know what that means but like okay I, like i said i just put in the formula that's all that's good uh as okay and, and that's what's so easy about this like yeah and, and this has been the point i'm making we have all the tools all the toolkits are there all the work has been done the academic guys have pounded on it and they've said here you go and so all you all it takes now is just plugging these in and using them correctly and Unfortunately, and well, and not making any bad mistakes, which continues to dog us. Mm -hmm. Okay.